Welcome back everyone. What I've got in store for you today is kind of a three-part series here. I'm going to do a quick unboxing on the HomeSeer uh, leak sensor, the HS-LS100 Plus. And also what I want to do is, after the unboxing, I want to do and include it into the HomeSeer network using the new HomeSeer Z-Wave Smart Stick which I have not done yet. Um, this will be the first Z-Wave device I've added since I've upgraded to uh, from the Aeon to the uh, HomeSeer uh, interface, or Z-Stick. And third, I uh, had a request to show, me, show someone how to have this sensor when it's triggered uh, send a text to your phone. So I'm going to show you the unboxing how to include it into a home seer network and how to get it to notify you so when it triggers um, it will display or send you a text to let you know that something's going on inside the house so first of all the sensor uh, just comes in the, the plain box here um, opens up um, the device itself is really small you can kind of see the size of it here in my hand um, it uh, has three terminals on the back that's so you can lay it down and it can be a standalone unit so you can just kind of sit this off behind the refrigerator washer dryer wherever you want and it's ready to go with no installation or anything um, but in case you need to install it a little different they include a well, get out here uh, set of hardware for mounting it and um, screws and adhesive as well as a probe and the nice thing about this adapter so you can mount it up on the wall and what's so neat about this is it's magnetic and it just kind of sticks on once you get everything lined up well I guess it goes this way there you go it sticks on yeah that's pretty neat so you can take it off on um, and and that's it that's inside the box uh, you know your instructions here, um, show you how to do the inclusion, uh, any setup or any troubleshooting on it. Um, and also, to get into it, it just does a simple twist. You can see the lines there. Just twist, and it opens up. And there you go. And it's got an ER1450 lithium battery, a 3.6 volt. Uh, in here um, it does have a little plastic tab so we will do that and um, I was reading the instructions uh, online and one of the things I always like to do this with new Z-Way products just because I've had problems with it before and it just it makes inclusion a little bit easier if a net if the device has been set up on a network or tested let's say at the factory when you go to include it, sometimes the inclusion will not overwrite the new, uh, your system, and it'll fail to include. And what I've gotten a habit of doing is just going through and resetting these to the factory defaults. And on this one, there's a little button here, and we're just going to press and hold it for 20 seconds. And they said you'll hold it, and then the lights will start flashing. And once they stop flashing, then you can release it. So I'm just going to hold this. Now we get the flashing. And once it stops, we will have it reset. Now it's back to factory settings. And there you go. And now I'll release. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to cut over to the home sear screen. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do on here is when it go to include it, I'm just going to push the include button here and that will start the process to pair it with the uh, home seer system so let me get over on the uh, the computer and we will fire up home seer and show you how it gets included and the way i'm going to mount this one is i'm just going to stick it right beside the wash machine this one's going to go on the wash machine so it's going to be a uh, quick simple installation and put it back together and let me go over there and I'll show you how to include it and then I'll show you how to set up an event so when it triggers um, it will send us a notification and what I'll do is I'll put some water down and set it down in the water and we'll show you how it kind of triggers and see what happens so let's cut over to Homesear
So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our plugins, Z-Wave controller management. And I'm going to select the Z-Wave smart stick. And I'm going to do an add a non-secure. And we're going to do start. And all I do is I hit the button on the activate. A new node is being added. And it's done. And it should be reloading information. And this is being added as node 7. So now we've got, and it's five child devices. And on the device itself, I've got a solid blue LED showing that it has been successful. So now let's go back over to the device settings and see what it looks like actually in the the devices, what all kind of devices it added. And one of the tips and tricks for you is, as you can see, Node 7 is not selected, so you start looking for it, you're kind of wondering where it's at, remember to go in there and select your floor and make sure everything is set. So here we go, so here is everything that it's set up. Um, you can see that it's got uh, um, it added the leak sensor itself, uh, the battery, um, the heat notification, the tamper, which I guess is the cover, temperature, and water notification. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm not getting a temperature. Maybe it takes a little bit to sink, but we'll see what happens. And everything is still showing tamper. Let's see if I can get it closed. All right, so now it's closed good and tight. All right, now let's test this out with the water. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to put it down in a little bit of water and we'll see if we get a notification. There we go, water detected. And I'll remove it and it goes back. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go in here and I'm going to name this just so it's easier to, to, to follow. And I'm going to put laundry room. and submit and we're just going to name this first floor and we're just going to say it's under the house and we're going to do done and that's it for including it into our um, to the network um, I will go back and as you know I do all my batteries together I group them and I'll go back in and I'll rename all those uh, once I finish this video here, because uh, I, I don't want to go through each one of them, but I'll rename them all off of Node 7, because um, I like to group all my batteries and motions under one setting, so that way I can just look at a glance and see how all my batteries are here. So, um, but I'll do that in a, a little bit later on. Uh, but next, we want to go to Events. And this was one of the requests I had gotten. Um, about adding a, an event for like a water event, uh, motion set, uh, going off in your house, a door opening after midnight. Um, this is where you would go. You would go to your events, and I'm going to do uh, this under my alarm settings. I've already got my hot water heater in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another event, and I'm going to put laundry room leak has the name and submit and what we want to do is say if a device and we're going to choose um, changes and becomes and we're going to go in and look for our first floor house laundry room right there and we're going to say if it becomes water detected then we want to send an email. And here you would put in uh, your email text. And just for example, I'm going to put, you know, 999-555-1212. You know, and this is a, a neat trick. Uh, if you want it to be a text, actually go into your phone, uh, you can do uh, your cell provider, you could do an email to text. And for example, Verizon is VTEX, 
vtex.com. So you put your cell phone number at vtex.com, you'll get a text message when this goes off. And you can add multiple email addresses uh, or multiple phones, so you can have it go to yours, spouse, kids, anyone you want. You can add it in the email too. They will get a text. AT&T, I think it's uh, att.txt.com, txt.com. Uh, if you Google email to text and your cellular carrier, it'll give you what you put in here. And I'm just going to put for the subject, leak in laundry room. I can spell right. And that's all I do. I don't ever put a message. And now when this device goes off, it's going to send an alarm to my cell phone. So now let's test this out. I went back in and added my phone number because that was not my real phone number. I realized that when I started testing this. So I went back in and added my real phone number and I'm going to drop this down back in the water again and I'm going to hold my phone up here close to the microphone and let's just see what happens. And there it was, got the leak in the laundry room notification. And uh, now I can go set this up in the room. And like I said, I'm just gonna lay it on the floor and it'll be a perfect fit. But anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out uh, my videos. <laughs>